here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo. Hey Virgo, how are you? Let's tap into this energy like we always do. See if it changes. See if it stays the same. Spirit come through. Gonna have some messages for Virgo. Come through, Spirit. Gonna have some messages for Virgo. What messages do you have for Virgo? Remember to like, share, and subscribe. If this resonates, hit that like button. Okay? Spirit, come through. What messages do you have for Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? What's the current energy for Virgo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First position you have. Three of Swords. First position, guys. Really? Okay, Nine of Swords. Mm, who am I tapping into? Alright, Five of Swords. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two of Cups. The Magician. Okay, Nine of Cups. Okay, Page of Wands. You have the Ten of Coins. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come through Spirit. Okay. It's not as bad as it looks. All right, we have the Star. Okay. We have the Six of Coins. We have the Ace of Swords. Uh-huh. And we have the Ten of Cups. All right. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got going on. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Can you guys see that? Is that on your eye shot? Good. All right, so we have one, mm -hmm. two, I said two major connors. Okay, we'll take it. Mm. We will definitely take it, All right? At the bottom of the deck, okay, you have the eight of coins, okay? This is a workaholic, okay? This is somebody who works very hard. Two, three jobs, you know, they always trying to secure that bag, okay? This is someone who, they may, this individual may uh, chase money more than they chase love, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this person is more, more, they're more interested in their career, okay um their future you know they're trying to secure um financial security or something like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they do love you very much okay they may ignore you a lot due to work okay or you may feel they're not interested because they're always at work or it's it's not that they don't love you okay they're just into something else is more important to them okay not to sound like, you know, they don't care about you, loving you or they don't care that you love them. It's just something else is more important to them. They might come from humble beginnings, you know, they'll never, they vow never to be poor again. This, this, whoever you're dealing with, they want a certain lifestyle, okay? This is why they work sun up, sun down, okay? This is a workaholic that you're connected to, all right? Some of you wondering, what does this does this person love you? Does this person want you? Yes, they do very much so. Okay, a whole new world is coming in for you, Virgo. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is endings and beginnings. There's some changes coming towards you. This is changes that you you know you have. Look at this eye that's in there. Oh, I just saw that. Look at that eye. Mm hmm. Some of you to protect yourself from some evil from some evil some evil eyes. Okay. Yeah, you need to protect yourself from some haters that's watching and watching every goddamn thing you do, okay? Whole new world is coming in for you. Things are definitely about to get better for you. Uh-huh, something is ending. And it's, it's, whatever is ending is for the better, okay? Because something brilliant is about to start, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
lovers. You fell in love with this person. This person loves you. Like I said, some of you wonder if this person loves you, but they got an ace of cups. They love you very much. They just don't tell you. They're too busy at work. Okay. Too busy worrying about maintaining work. Okay. Yeah. This person might, you know, they might got a lot of responsibilities at work. They might have a lot of, um, what do you call them? Um, employees. Okay. They might have, um, you know, big tax bills or something. This person is in the books trying to figure something out. This person got other priorities, okay? Don't think they're neglecting you because they don't like you. They do, okay? And they're going to offer you a whole new world. This person loves you very much. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini, mm -hmm. a, a, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Uh-huh, uh-huh. A strong Taurus. Yeah. This person is going to give you what you've been waiting for, okay? We got the coins again. So definitely dealing with some sort of earth sign, okay? It could be a Taurus. It could be a Capricorn. It could be another Virgo, okay, Virgo? This person is going to offer you what you've been waiting for, okay? Yeah, you, whatever you've been planting your seeds in, you're about to get, reap the rewards or something like that, okay? Because this is wait, waiting for your outcome, okay? You're going to put your blood, sweat, and tears into this connection with this person. And this person is very standoffish. They don't show you nothing, okay? They don't spend no time with you. They don't... You, you just feel like, you know, you're in this by yourself, okay? And the little time that they do spend with you, and it's very little, okay? It's just not enough. You're just not satisfied. Mm. Virgo, let's see what's going on. Why we got the three of swords in the first position? Why we got the nine of swords in the second position? Virgos. Okay, some of you are just not happy, okay? You're just not happy no matter what. Lordly, lordly. You're just not satisfied. Mm -mm. You got your hand, your head on the desk saying, I'm just exhausted. I'm tired. Why can't I get what I want? Okay? Mm -hmm. This is disappointment. This is heartbreak, okay? You're, you're trying to get over some sort of disappointment or trying to get through some sort of heartbreak but it's stressing you out you're very stressed out over this person or this individual maybe you, this person lies to you you don't quote this person lying to you deceiving you you know with, with this five of swords okay this is deception this is lying somebody's playing with your emotions or something like that ay yeah yeah virgo i'm so sorry you guys are always disappointed always unhappy always sad you think about this person 50 going north to whoever this person is that betrayed you, backstabbed you or something like that. Okay, lied to you, cheated on you or something like that. This is some sort of deception here that you're very stressed out about. You can't forget it. You can't move on from it. Okay, you're very disappointed about it. Heartbroken, okay? You keep thinking about this person. This person is thinking about you too. This is some sort of sacred connection put together by spirit, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got the magician, okay? You guys are manifesting what you want. So get into a very positive vibration, okay? You can't manifest being all sad and stressed out, okay? If this person has been cheating on you, lying on you, deceiving you, cut this person off. Cut that cancer out your life, okay? But yet you're still thinking about this person. Mm. Okay, any, let's move on, okay? You're manifesting, all right? You're manifesting the outcome that you want. And what you want is your wish fulfillment. It's something that you want from this person that they're not giving you. Rather, it's a commitment, attention, love, sex, children, uh, devotion. Whatever you want from this person, they're just not giving it to you. And this is why you're depressed or sad or disappointment. You're stressed out. You're too worried, okay? You're too worried. You're too worried about somebody that you that you think is doing some fuck shit to you. Okay, if you think this person is doing all this fuck shit to you, kindly bow out gracefully and move on. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I, I see this person thinks about you just as much as you think about them. Okay? They're in a man manifest energy just like you are. But it looks like you're doing more manifestation because it's something that you want from this person. And it looks like they want to give it to you. Okay? Because you got a surprise coming in with this page of wands. Okay? Whatever it is that you want from this person, you're going to get. All right? Mm -hmm. And it looks like you want a commitment. You want a commitment with this person. Mm -hmm. You want a commitment. You want a commitment with this person more than anything. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. You want stability. You want devotion. You want this person to claim you. 
You want this person to state that they are with you, okay? You want it crystal clear. You don't want no doubt in your mind. You don't want no doubt in nobody else's mind, okay? But you have to make sure this person is on the same wavelength as you. You have to make sure they want it too, okay? You can't force a person to give you something they don't want, okay? Just be patient. This person is going to catch up to your heart's desires. Yeah, you guys are crying and you're sad and you're depressed over the wrong shit. Uh-uh. Sit back and enjoy the show. This person loves you just as much as you love them. They're going to give you what you want. And what you want is you want proof that this person is serious. You want proof that this person is with you. Okay? You feel this person is playing dirty on you, taking advantage of you, and they may have been doing all those things, okay? Uh huh. But you got to do one of two things, okay? You got to either move on, okay, or accept this person just as they are and keep going, okay? Eva, Eva, bow out gracefully and say, I'm sorry, this is not what I'm looking for, okay? And let it go. Or accept this person as they are, yeah, but you feel this person plays with you. You feel this person, you know, take advantage of your kindness or something like that. This person might have been doing all that, okay? And if you can't take it, just bow out gracefully because it looks like you can't take it. This is getting on your freaking nerves, okay? You don't have to be bothered with it. You will get over this person, okay? Many of you are still holding on to this person because you love them to death, okay? But you have to learn to love yourself a little bit more, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But like I said, some of you are manifesting this commitment. You want a commitment with this person. You're still holding on to hope. You're trying to heal, but you're still holding on to hope. But this person has every intention to come on and give you, to come in and give you equality. Mm -hmm. They're going to balance this thing out. They're going to give you equal give and take, okay? They want to talk to you. All right? You got the Ace of Swords. This is some sort of heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's coming in, okay? You might have to calm your nerves so y'all can have a conversation. You might, you know, have to, you know, let this anger go or, you know, give it time or something like that. Because a, a communication is coming in for you guys to sit and talk. And it's going to benefit you because, see, here you go. You got the Ten of, cup, ten of Cups. You're going to get the outcome you want. This person wants to, wants to be family with you, Okay. They want to be in a commitment with you. They want the happy, happy ever after with you, okay? They want the white picket fence and the, the house and the white picket fence, the two kids and the dog. They want that America's dream with you, okay? Yeah, you guys are going to talk about it. This person is ready to give to you now. This person might have been great crumbing you before, treating you like shit. It's clear that they was because you're still hurt, okay? But you hold out. Stay on your ground, okay? Stay on your ground. Set up your boundaries. Let it be known. I'm not going to tolerate this shit. I'm not going to tolerate your game plan. I'm not going to tolerate tolerate your mind fuckery. Okay? But you don't have to do so in such a depressed state. Okay? Some of you are loving too hard. Too much too soon. Mm -mm. They don't deserve that. No, 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 no. Put all that energy on you. Okay? Some of you guys are just drained. You just can't give no more. You done gave all you're going to get. But you can't stop thinking about this person, okay? Yeah, you're determined to manifest this person no matter how they treat you, okay? If this person is all that bad, then why cry and be bullshitting over over this bad energy, okay? If this person is all, all so bad, stressing you out, you're losing your hair, you're losing weight, you can't eat, you can't sleep, okay? Because it's obvious. That's obvious, Okay? If this person is so toxic, walk away. Okay? Some of you are addicted to toxicity. Okay? You're addicted to the bad girl or addicted to the bad boy. All right? You don't deserve that. Love yourself enough to walk away from it. Okay? Some of you are still holding on to it because you want this person more than anything. Although they show you their bad behavior. They show you they got some sort of behavior disability. Okay? They don't know how to act. Okay? But this is who they are. Sometimes you got to accept the person who they are. Okay? All right? Yeah, this is somebody who gets on your freaking nerves. Come and go back and forth, in and out, lie a lot, still a lot, fuck around a lot. They do all kinds of dumb shit. A lot. Okay? Either accept this person or let them go. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. For some of you, just can't. 
When you say regular orga, I can't let him go. Good Lord, he gets on my freaking nerves or she get on my freaking nerves, but I can't let her go. I'm still holding on to to all this toxicity. You guys argue, you guys fight. This person, you feel like this person just needs to grow up. They're not giving you what you want, but they're going to surprise you. You got a surprise coming in with this page of wands, okay? And it looks like the prize is some sort of commitment. They're going to offer you some sort of money to help you out, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This person is going to commit to you. They're going to offer every goddamn thing they got to you. Now, this is your wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this person does want to come and help you out more. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person don't want you to think bad about them. They don't want you to think that they're oh so bad or they did this, this and they did that. They might have made some mistakes, but, you know, to air is human, you know? Some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign with all these swords, 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 swords. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini. What's the other one? Aquarius, okay. Mm -hmm. Strong Pisces. Uh-huh. Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cancer. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay. Strong Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody's here. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Virgo, you gotta get yourself together, okay? You gotta get yourself together. When you just when you yourself betray the the energy that you want, in other words, don't stand for the fuck shit. If you don't want it, don't stand for it. Okay, if that means you have to walk away, then walk away. Because if you keep accepting this person and all their fuck shit, they're gonna feel like, What do I have to change? You're gonna take me anyway. Okay, you're gonna accept me anyway. There's no consequences for their actions. Guess what? They're not going to change those actions, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right? This person thinks about you a great deal, though. So it sounds like that you're trying to stay away from this person. Or it looks like you're trying to stay away from this person. It looks like you've been avoiding them. Although this person has you lovesick. You're lovesick over this person anyway, okay? Even, even though they play with you, they don't do you right or something like that. You still hold on. You're still thinking about them. This person still is on your energy, still connected to your energy, okay? Have the conversation with this person. Once you have the conversation, it's going to balance out a lot. This energy is going to settle down because right now you guys are crying. You're sad. You're mad at the world. You feel like you never get what you want. You want this person and this person just don't want you the same or something like that. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are hopeless romantics. And you want this person to be some sort of hopeless romantic. But this person is very cold, very distant, very aloof all over the place. Okay? They're not mushy, mushy, mushy flowers and candy knocking at the door. Want to lay under you and watch Netflix all day. This is not that energy. Mm -mm. But they do got some sort of feelings for you. Yeah, your love language just don't match this person's love language. But they got you all the same. They got you in love with them all the same. Okay? And they love you too. Just not the way you want to be loved. Okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you need to do some shadow work because you're looking for this person to heal some wounds in you that you haven't healed yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's time for you guys to do some healing. You're looking for this person to fix everything. This person can't fix everything with you because they got their own fuck shit they got to fix, okay? Let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get. Good Lord, I was on that too long. Okay, there y'all go. There you have it. Spirit come through. Gonna have some more messages for Virgo. Alright, Spirit kind of come through. Gonna have some more messages for Virgo. Mm hmm Gonna have some more messages for Virgo, please. Mm hmm Connect with nature. Okay, you're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. Some of you need to get out the house, okay? Go to the river, go to the park, go to the ocean. Go somewhere you can clear clear your head, okay? Mm -hmm. Get in your car, take a drive to the to some sort of river bank or some sort of park or something like that where you're safe, okay? Put your music on, all right? Clear your head, get out and take your shoes off, walk in that grass, okay? Put a blanket out and sit in that grass. Some of you need to go step your step in some water or something. Easy does it, okay? Stop trying so hard to control everything, Virgo energies, okay? So I'm going to repeat this. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you, okay? Good Lord. Some of you, some of you guys 
or really some hopeless romantics, okay? You want this love thing, and you want it now. You want it right now. I want to love you the way I want to love you. Get it together. Come to me now, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some of you love very hard. We have spiritual teacher. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. Mm. Okay. All right. Some of you will become spiritual teachers. You will help other people find their north. Okay. Find their strength in this thing called spirituality. Learn how to tap into it. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have express your individuality, okay? Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. Because you're awesome. Pick up this energy. Why do y'all make me tap into this kind of energy? I don't know why I picked this deck. <sighs> why I gotta tap into this sad, sad energy? Come on, snap out of it. Okay, Virgos that's not feeling this energy, let's, play, let's pray for the other uh, Virgos to snap out of it. Give them strength. Send them something positive in the comments, please, to lift their energy. Okay? Some of them are in love with someone they just don't know what to do with. Okay? They just don't know what to do with this individual. This person is a handful to them. Okay? Give them strength. Give them an encouraging word, please. Okay? We have patience, please. Mm -hmm. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience. And there are unseen factors that need to occur first. I swear on everything. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit gave y'all encouraging word for me. Okay? Please, again, the other ones, the other Virgos who's not in this energy, please give them encouraging word also. Okay? You know? This is an uplifting channel. We keep everybody uplifted. We don't attack. Okay? We help out over here. Okay? On this side of the tracks, so we look out over here. Spirit, come through. Can I have some more messages, please? Surrender comparison with other people. No, don't, don't you dare. I know you ain't over there comparing yourself to somebody else because this person ain't coming to you. Everything is not about you. Okay, this person got their own fuck shit they got to handle. You focus on you. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Focus on you. Don't try to compare yourself to somebody else. You don't know what, the, what they got going on. Spirit come through. Pay attention to your own uniqueness. Okay, we have surrender to set limits, okay? Mm -hmm. It is healthy to set boundaries in your relationships, okay? Practice expressing your needs, and remember that no is a complete sentence, okay? Some of you guys are saying yes when you really mean no, okay? Some of you are giving too much up too soon, and you're not getting nothing in return. This is why you feel drained. This is why you feel used. This is why you feel bamboozled or tricked, okay? You're doing too much giving, 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 and you're not getting nothing back in return. Stop letting people use you, Okay? Just to say you got somebody. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Okay? Person show you time and time again who they are. Believe them. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Look, either leave them where they stand or keep it moving. I mean, either leave them where they stand or deal with them. Okay? Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Okay? Mm. Some of you guys got too much healing to do. You got you got to do some healing. All right? Yeah. You got to take a break. All right? You're doing the most. You got to relax yourself. Mm-hmm. We gotta surrender denial, okay? Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties, okay? Then you can see things clearly and make your best decision. Okay, see this person exactly who they are. You can't keep crying over a person just because they don't measure up or they don't accommodate you the way you want to be accommodated. Learn individuals first. Study them first before you go into any commitment. Because once you see who they truly are, once they pull back that curtain, once you once the representative is going and you see the true them, you might not really like them. Okay? And then you'll be holding them to, to this level or this commitment that they they shouldn't even be on. Because they're not there. 
Okay? They shouldn't even be at that level with you because they're not there. All right? They're not ready for no commitment. They're not ready to love you the way you want to be loved. Don't put them there because they're not there. Okay? That was just a rep that was just their representative that you was dating and she was talking to that you fell hook, line, and sinker with. But the real them is on a whole new different level. Okay? And then you get angry with them. You get mad at them when you see they true. They truth. They true north. Alright? Mm -hmm. Surrender the happy of pe uh, the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. There you have it, okay? No more. No more of that. You did it. Put a stop to it, okay? Because that's not serving anyone. It's certainly not serving you, okay? It's making you feel even worse. Because the more you give this person, the more they give you their ass to kiss. And ain't nobody got time for that, okay? This person will make you hurt them. Uh -uh. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Come on. Come through, spirit. Can I have some more? Can I have some more messages for this? For Virgo. Okay. Now, Virgo, this is not for all of you. This is a Pacific group. Somebody's in their feels heavy. Crying, depressed, can't eat, can't sleep. You won't do your hair. You ain't take no bath. You sad and fold up in fetal position. Feeling lovesick. Uh-uh. Snap out of it. Go get dressed. Do your hair. Okay. Eat something. All right. We got protection. Take a protection bath. Lord, have mercy. Especially if you guys work online. Definitely protect yourself. Protect everything that you got. Okay. You got some online pirates trying to steal accounts and steal bank accounts and money and shit like that. Protect yourself. That's a keyboard button, too. So protect yourself for those of you who works online. Okay. Gratitude. Show the energy of gratitude. Okay. Uh-huh. Have the attitude of gratitude, okay? When you have that attitude of gratitude, more great things come in for you to be grateful for, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got make love. Lord, have mercy. You done made love to this person. This person done ghosted you. Now you feel worse. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Shit, you know, shit happen. Forgive yourself and keep it moving, all right? All right? Yeah, some of you are dealing with a narcissist, but you knew that when you started dating them. Uh -huh. Some of you are attracted to narcissists. Mm -hmm. You like their arrogance. Okay? You like their cocky ass energy. You like that. That's a turn on for you. You like that bad boy or that ba or that bad girl. You like that. You like their confidence. Mm -hmm. You like that me, 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 me personality that they have. Okay? You just laugh at them and say, oh, you so spoiled. Fuck that. That shit ain't spoiled. Tell them to grow their asses up. Okay? Use your gifts. Use your gifts. Okay? Mm -hmm, mm hmm Spirit come through. Ancient ancestors, you got ancient ancestors that's protecting you, that's walking over you, walking with you. Okay. Ancient ancestors, okay? That's 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 the ancestors that you don't even know about, okay? They ride with you, they fight for you, they protect you, they guide you. Those are the voices that you hear. Okay, listen clearly. All right. Uh -huh. Trust issues. You got to you got to heal. You got trust issues. If it ain't from this person, it's from somebody else. Okay, somebody done already, you know, put a bad taste in your mouth when it comes to trusting them. All right, so you might have trust issues with this person here. You don't believe shit that they say or nothing that um, that they do. You just don't believe them. Okay, you might not even believe that you deserve it or something like that. Okay, yeah, you got some healing to do. All right, mm -hmm. yeah, spiritual healing. Mm hmm yeah this is some long time hurt that you're still some of you are you got abandonment issues okay you've very you've been very disappointed for a very long time you know maybe you maybe you got mommy issues daddy issues or something like that maybe you were abandoned just didn't get enough hugs and it just didn't get enough attention and you look for it you look for it through other people okay the wrong people the people that's not into that all right or they don't even know that you need that or something like that, okay? Uh-huh. You got some healing to do. You got to do some spiritual healing. All right? Some, you got to go deep down. You got you to gotta go deep down to the root. You got to go deep down to the root. And that's your job to do. That's not that person's job because they don't know it like you know it. Okay? Mm-hmm. We got the storm is now over. Okay? 
which is which means things are going to improve things are going to get better okay the rough times are over all right mm -hmm. spiritual bath clean your energy okay many of you got your own work to do here i am pissed somebody's always mad okay what are you pissed at okay because you missed them all right you want to see this person you want to see more of this person is that what it is might be pissed because this person don't give you enough time, enough attention or something like that. They're not reaching out to you. You reach out to them, they don't answer. Some fuck shit like that, okay? Yeah, you feel betrayed by this person. You did too much for this person. This person took advantage of your kindness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, oh, sexually violated. Mm. Okay, some of you Virgos could have been sexually violated as a child or as an adult. Okay, if this is so, hear me and hear me clearly, okay? You have to get some help, all right? You have to go to some sort of, try an outpatient if you don't want to go inpatient. Try an outpatient facility, okay? And you go talk to someone, all right? You can't handle this by yourself, all right? The person that you would probably don't even know that you're harboring this kind of energy, or this kind of resentment, or this kind of pain, okay? This kind of anger, all right? And you're doing a great deal of misplaced anger, all right? For those of you that were sexually violated, call the police. Make a police report, process to the fullest extent, okay? Especially if you are definitely in in the uh, in the time frame, okay? If it happened when you was a child and you didn't tell anyone, or you told someone and they didn't do anything, Okay, again, try to find you an outpatient clinic so that you can get this out. So you can talk to some sort of therapist that has the tools to help you process this. This wasn't your fault. Okay, and you cannot go around thinking that, that if I ignore it, it's going to go away. Mm -mm. It's going to come out some shape, form or fashion. So let it come out the right way through communication, talking to someone that is uh, professionally trained to handle it. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Spirit couldn't do. This is probably going to be too long. Oh, it's not too bad. Spirit, can I have some more messages for Virgo? For Virgo. You got a love offer coming in, Virgo. This person loves you just as much as you love them. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. But some of you got some healing to do. You got some demons to squash, okay? All right? Yeah. Yeah, some of you are very, very sad. You're mourning. You're healing, release, reflection, growth, forgiveness, acceptance, depression. Some of you are battling with depression, okay? Uh-huh. Some of you are sad, okay? Very sad, heartbroken, crying, okay? Either this person left you for good, like they're not coming back at all, or this person has ghosted you, all right? However you look at it, you're pissed off, okay? Uh-huh, spirit come through. Uh-huh. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. Yeah, some of you have left, has lost someone who crossed over. I guess I'll see you next lifetime, okay? Uh-huh, you're sad about it. Mm -hmm. This was the love of your life. Okay, again, get some grief counseling, all right? Go see someone, all right? You can't ha you handle that by yourself. You talk to your your religious leaders or your parents or, you know, someone that you can confide in, all right? Somebody has to teach you how to process it, all right? Instead of crying and being mad at the world, all right? We have a long journey, okay? Old worn-out shoes symbolize life hardships and the toll they take, reflecting a sense of weariness and a longing for stability, the condition of the souls mirror the soul's fatigue from life's long journey, indicating a need for rest and renewal. This imagery highlights the impact of life's challenges on our physical and spiritual well-being. Mm. Somebody been through hell and back. Okay, this has been a long journey for you, okay? I get it. I really do get it. You're just looking for things to improve. You want things to get better. You're like, why me? Why me? Why me? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
We have boomerang karma. Boomerang suggests that the energy that we send out, good or bad, quickly returns to us. Okay, emphasizes the importance of emitting positive vibes into the universe. You have to get positive, okay? Because if you walk around all stale, bottled up, angry, and you're emitting that energy, you're going to get more of it. Okay, all nasty, all mad at the world, okay? And, and that devil energy, okay? Deceptive, tempting, manipulating, ruthless, destructive, vindictive, secretive, malevolent. Okay, some of you are dealing with uh, somebody that's very low vibrational or this is the energy that you're currently in. Okay, that devil energy. Be very mindful what you send out. It comes back, okay? Giving my heart to you. Some of you are sad over somebody that you love and they're not loving you in return the way that you want to be loved, okay? It's like your love language don't match their love language. That's not their fault, okay? Learn to accept somebody as they are, okay? Yeah, I'm in love with you, okay? Looks like you guys love each other, but you want, you want this person to act right or do right. Okay, this person might be on social media flirting with other people, disrespecting you, acting like y'all not together. Okay, but when they come to you, y'all together. This person playing games, they need to grow up, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're pissed off about that too. Yeah. We also have Fell Jar, angelic assistance, okay? Somebody might have been doing some sort of uh, spell work on you, okay? It went into the Fell Jar, it didn't work. You had, you had angelic assistance, okay? Be grateful that the spirits is on your side. They're not going to let nobody hurt you. Pick up this energy. Some of you need to do an energetic cord cutting. Release detachment, clarity, empowerment, purification, boundaries, and healing. Okay? You have to let it go. You're holding on to something that you know you need to let go. Okay? Either accept them as they are, okay? Or let it go. All right, something is brewing. Something is definitely brewing here between you and this individual. Something is definitely brewing. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, we got some sort of explosive events. This is going to be all of a sudden, unexpected, shattering, jolting, unforeseen, devastation. Okay, some sort of quick ending is coming. It's about to blow up. Okay. You... Sorry about that. One second. Something is about to blow up. Okay. We got jealousy. Uh, that always comes out for you. Okay. You got a lot of envy. You got a lot of jealousy. You might got a lot of people that's praying against you for you and this person not to work out. They might be trying to sabotage this connection, putting fucked up thoughts in your head and shit like that. Be careful who you talk to. Okay. You got new levels, new devils. You know what? Let me tell you something. It don't change. Okay. Whatever level you on, okay? You're going to find a damn devil, all right? Shit. Stick to the devils that you know. You're spiritually gifted, too, okay? You got to do some healing, okay? We got healing, prophecy, discernment, wisdom, knowledge, faith, miracles, tongues, empathy, intuition, clair clairvoyance, clear sentence, clear audience, telepathy, visionary intercessions. Look at that. You guys are so freaking gifted. No wonder people are jealous of you. Okay, no wonder you feel attacked. No wonder you feel unhappy. Okay? You just, you just, first of all, you guys are empathic. You're empaths, okay? So you're very empathic energies, okay? You pick up a lot of energy that's not yours, okay? You're loving somebody who's not loving you the way you want to be loved. You blame yourself. No, you know better. Tap into that energy, okay? Tap into that energy. You know better, okay? Even accept this person as they are, Help them through it. Clean their energy. And if that's too much work, leave them where they stand and keep it moving, okay? All right? Let's go to the next one. Lord, Lee, Lord, Lee. Who? Why? Who told me to do this? You know Virgos was already done today. Spirit and told me to come and do another one. Okay. I got to be... All right. That was a rose quartz that fell. Spirit, can I have some more messages, please, for Virgo? Some of you might need to carry some rose quartz. I just fell on the floor. All right. Mm. Okay, lemon squeeze discussion, okay? A gathering of friends, team, groups, or family come together to work out any concerns, communication, and issues, feel, hurt feelings, disagreements, or other problems they may have because they value their relationship or friendship and they want to wipe the slate clean for a fresh start. Okay, whoever this person is, they're coming in to see if you guys can, you know... 
have a discussion here. Okay, they want things clean. You know, lemons clean. They, you know, they purify. They remove negative energy. Okay, so somebody is coming in to see if they can savor this relationship. Okay, if they can remove any toxicity. Okay, anything that's blocking this from growing or, you know, going to the next level or improving in any way. They coming in to see if they can fix that with you. Rather they're little lovers or friends or foes, okay? Somebody don't want to fight anymore. All right. Yeah, somebody wanna work things out. Okay. Somebody has concerns too. All right. Somebody wanna clear up these hurt feelings. They know you hurt. They can feel you hurt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got the final boss, okay? The last major challenge or enemy that one must overcome before completing the main uh, storyline or campaign. The final boss encounter is usually designed to be the most difficult and dramatic battle in the game, testing all the skills and knowledge that players have accumulated throughout their gameplay experience, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The final boss. Mm. Okay, some of you might be, you know, battling somebody who feels they're the boss and you feel I'm the boss. You know, I want things my way and they want things their way. Okay, somebody has to give. There has to be some compromise here. Okay, you guys are going to fight it out until what? Till you get to what? All right. Yeah, you better fight to that therapy office. Some of you definitely need to go to therapy. Okay, you need to talk some things out. All right, it's time to do some venting. You've been doing a lot of holding in, holding in, holding in. That ain't working anymore, okay? All right, we got venting, advice, guidance, support, emotional support, personal development, conflict resolution, and confidentiality, okay? All right, go to, go, go, go in confident and talk to someone that you trust, okay? Look at the back of that health card, that medical card that you got. Call that 1-800 number and tell them to set you up with somebody that you can talk to, Okay? Tell me you want some family therapy, all right? It's okay. You don't have to be late. You don't have to feel like you're crazy. You're losing your mind. No, you just need someone to talk to. You know I'm a, I'm a great advocate for therapy. Shit, I studied it for years. Y'all better go get some of that help them people got for you, okay? Yeah, you're fighters. You're going to fight back and get your life back, okay? Especially if those of you who who's suffering with some sort of sexual violations, conflict, battle, struggle, resistance, aggression, hostility. Yeah, some of you guys are a fighter. You have become a major fighter due to some so much fuck shit that has happened to you in the past. Fuck shit that you have not prog uh, uh, processed. You have not sorted it through. Okay, what you did is you stored it away. Thinking if you stored it away in your little lock block lock box. It will go away. But no, no, no. It resurfaces. The moment you don't get what you want. The moment you feel rejected. The moment you feel neglected. Okay? It resurfaces. All right? It becomes an open wound. Okay? Some of you are very cold-blooded behind this. Heartless, detached, indifferent, unemotional, impassive, cruel. Unsympathetic and ruthless, okay? This might have brought that type of energy out of you where you're very cold now. Very cold and very distant, okay? You or your person, all right? Somebody is harboring some sort of heartache, some sort of pain. Okay, we have backstab, disloyal, betrayal, trust. Trust was broken, re deception, sabotage, yeah. This is what you feel. You feel betrayed by this person. This is why you're crying. This is why you're having sleepless nights. It's something that you didn't say. It's something that you didn't do, okay? You feel like you let it happen or something like that. Okay, whatever, however it went down, okay? Forgive yourself and keep it moving, all right? All right? However it went down, forgive yourself and keep it moving, okay? Some of you just gave birth, okay? Yeah, how about that? This person might have stood you up, didn't come to the hospital, didn't come claim the baby, say the baby not his or hers. Yeah, somebody just had a baby. Okay, we got birth. We have children. This could be over children. You may have children with this person, okay? Yeah, some of you just gave birth here. Uh-huh. We got spiritual birth. 
Okay, we have conscious birth and a in a growth or something like that. If it wasn't a child, you're giving birth to something that's gonna help elevate you, help help you grow. But it looks like it's a baby. Some of you just gave birth or you're about to. Okay. Youth, growth, playfulness, innocence, newborn, infant. Some of you have a new child. And the baby mama or the baby daddy is getting on your freaking nerves. Yeah. They won't keep the boundaries, okay? Uh-huh. They keep cr crossing the line with you or something like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. They need to respect your boundaries more or something like that. Okay? Uh-huh. Okay, yes, many of you have goals. You want a very luxurious life, okay? You've been working very hard towards it or something like that. Very wealthy, very comfortable, okay? This person don't feel they this person feels they don't have to help you with the child. You got it all or something like that. And this pisses you off. You said I didn't make it by myself. Okay. Some of you might have had to get to the hospital and to deliver the baby. Okay. We got rescue, urgency. Okay. Somebody had to get to the hospital. They didn't make it. Okay. All right. You might have made it to the hospital. This is this person didn't show up. Something is making you mad at this person. Okay. Something is making you pissed off. It's like you needed them and they wasn't there for you or something like that. Okay. Mm. All right. Yeah. Great deal of grief. Great deal of grief. Sadness, loss, mourning, pain, sorrow, anguish. Somebody went to the hospital and didn't come back from the hospital. Something like that. Somebody had a loss. Somebody went. Somebody lost a loved one. Okay. For some of you, this person passed over. Okay. For some of you, this person walked away from you and started seeing somebody else. Okay. Come through, spirit. Gonna have some more messages for Virgo. Yeah, you pray for this person all the time. You're a praying woman. Look how big your wings are. You pray for this person all the time. Okay, keep praying for them. Rather, they're in the hospital. Okay, you had to take them to the hospital. You had to rush them to the hospital. Uh huh. You was called to action. You had to. You had to intervene. Okay, this was some sort of spiritual emergency or something like that. You had to protect this person. However, it went down. Okay, you might have had to go into prayer for this person. Yeah. We got spiritual manipulation. Uh huh. You might feel attacked. Some of you Virgos are feeling attacked right now. Okay. You feel like this person is attacking you. You feel like you're being attacked. Okay. You feel like many people is attacking you or something like that. You're protected not to worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Watch out. Make sure somebody's not trying to steal something from you. Steal your money. Steal your name. Steal your house. Steal out your house. Steal your car. There's a thief around you. Be very mindful of the slickster. Okay. Somebody is playing games. This is a mind fuckery type energy. Okay. All right. They want to come off like they're cool, like they're your friend, but they're looking for a spot to betray you with. Okay. Yep. A fool's journey, because that's exactly what they are. Because it's not going to work. You're very protected. Okay. It's going to break your heart. It's going to disappoint you when you see who this person is. This is somebody with ulterior motive. Always coming with the slick. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spiritual initiation. You guys are going through some sort of spiritual initiation. All right? You're being initiated in some sort of spiritual, um, I should say, a spiritual group or a, just into spirituality, period. Okay? You're learning to listen to your intuition. You're learning to trust yourself. Okay, uh-huh. Some of you do very well financially, okay? You know you got to be very careful there. Somebody's definitely going to try to take advantage of you there, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, some of you just bought a new house. You're about to, you're about to buy a new house, okay? Okay, uh-huh. It's somebody who's really upset that they broke your heart. This is somebody who's really mad that they hurt you, that they lost you. They want to come back and say they're sorry. They are full of regrets. This is somebody who loves you very much. Okay, they want to come back and tell you how much they love you. Okay, uh huh. Yeah, they might got some demonic attachments. Okay, it might be with a, with with the. Ooh, this is what they with. Uh huh. They are with a Jezebel. Okay. This is a very low vibrational energy that who don't just screw them. This person screws whoever they want to screw. Okay. Uh huh. This is a very bitter, bitter individual, a bitter karmic. 
Okay, this person is mad. Okay, this person is mad that this person still wants you or this person still loves you or something like that. Okay. Okay, I don't, look, listen here. Whatever, however this unfolds for you guys, however this unfolds, that's their problem. That's not yours. Okay. Rather, this person is uh, attached to some demonic energies. Rather, you had to, uh, you found out this person was at the hospital or you was at the hospital and this person didn't show up. Whatever disappointment this person caused you, Virgo, that's their shit. That's not yours to pick up. Okay? Uh huh. That's their shit. That's not yours to pick up. I hope you enjoyed this read. I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. Talk to you soon. I shall.